Hi everybody, Tim Keefe with Transform CX. Uh, good morning and thanks for attending our video today. I wanted to talk a little bit about the recession. Um, obviously it's a hot topic, every headline, you know, and as they always say, when the US gets cold, the global economy gets the flu. It is definitely a time when there's a lot of changes in the economy. Uh, some of these are driven from the pandemic. Some of these were well in, in, in flight before the pandemic. And many of us, I think, would argue that we were due for a downturn in the economy. And in some ways, the pandemic uh, suspended that. However, there's no question there are things going on that we need to be aware of. Uh, inflation here in the United States is at a time we haven't seen since the 1980s. And that's resulted in significant downturn in consumer spending. That being said, there are parts of the economy where people are still spending um, and some of it is things like revenge travel. Uh, so the travel and hospitality industry is definitely still under significant pressure to deal with growth, to replace people that left during the pandemic and haven't been able to come back. Or in fact, in many ways, some of the things is they need to change the way that they're engaging with their employees to look at delivering new and enhanced experiences for travelers. So travelers are looking for things differently uh, the industry is changing. We'll talk more about that in another video with Arlene Dorada. But there's definitely things happening in that industry that are different than some of the things we're seeing in, for example, consumer spending or retail, where definitely we're seeing a reduction in certain types of spending, which is having impact on other things. We're also seeing, you know, companies declaring layoffs and reductions in force that's tied to closing office space. And traditionally, those things were all kind of aligned, right? Which is, I'm reducing force because people aren't buying my product, and, and therefore I'm eliminating office space, which has the ripple effect in the local economy. But today, some of that office space closing has nothing to do with that, but that's more tied to the fact that employees don't want to come back to the office or companies have recognized that and aren't requiring that they come back to the office. Even in a hybrid model, people are only coming to the office for a few days a week. So those industries that were dependent on that business during the day, at least in those consolidated office parks or urban centers is having to change. Now, how is that changing? So we're starting to see more distribution of some of those businesses. They're moving out into areas where they hadn't been before. Um, they're serving people in more suburban areas. So one of the things that I think that is challenging right now in the recession is you've got a lot of companies where it's been 15 years of a good ride. So since 2008, with the exception of companies that were put, you know, really shut down during the pandemic, a lot of companies saw low cost money, uh, lots of interest and in investment, almost continuous growth. It's been, and now for the first time, and in many cases, this is management teams that have never experienced this. They're having to deal with different news, right? I won't call it bad news, but it's definitely challenging news. Uh, cost of money has gone up. Access to investment money has gone down. Investors are now looking more at fundamentals rather than um, opportunity valuation. So what does that all look like? This is a really important time for companies as they think about the future, because there is going to be a future. There always is a future. Um, I've had the benefit of living through four of these cycles. So now is the time to um, batten down the hatches, you know, look at um, expenses. This is a good time to clean things up that maybe needed to be cleaned up. But it's also a really important time to focus on keeping those employees that are the ones that are really the linkpin, the keystones of your business. The problem with general layoffs and the problem with making statements like people who work at home aren't engaged is that you run the risk of chasing out the people who have the most talent that you're most dependent on and unfortunately have the most opportunities elsewhere. So again, from a recession perspective, not new news. We've all seen this before. History tells us they come and they go. It's always good to be thinking that and even in times of growth, what are you doing for when things are going to come down? And they always do come down. So prepare for the rainy day, bat down the hatches, focus on the employees that are really going to be there, that bring the talent, the capability, and skills that you're going to need when things turn around. Thanks for listening. Tim Keefe with Transform CX.